recording. It is recording. So good evening, everybody. My name is Justin Naylor. I'm a project manager for the city of Fort Worth and the Transportation and Public Works Department. Uh, also on this call uh, that, that I'm aware of, we have um, Michael Crenshaw, who is uh, going to be managing the project once it leaves what we're calling project development. Uh, we have our consultant, Friesen Nichols, who's been helping us uh, develop this early days schematic that we'll be looking at. And then we also have Baird Hampton or Brown, uh, who will be our design engineer as, as if this project were to move forward uh, through design. Uh, so uh, that, that's who we have on this call. And again, this project is for the Halcombe Road, a potential street drainage improvement in, the, in, in about the 600 block or so of Halcombe Road. Uh, this project is coming to you from our Transportation Public Works Group and the in our, our Stormwater Management Division is the sponsor for this and it's coming out of our Hazardous Roadway Overtopping Mitigation Program or our ATRON program. And the purpose of the ATRON program is to address areas in the city where we have creeks that are crossing under roadways and ideally they should the creek should cross under the roadway but sometimes whenever it's raining very heavily we wind up with water crossing over the roadway causing a very hazardous location and that's what we're looking at here on Haltham Road. Uh, currently, this project is in project development, and, and our goal in project development is to, to define effective, affordable, and acceptable solutions uh, to, to these hazardous roadway overtopping locations. We want to make sure that whatever we're, whatever we're proposing is going to solve the problem that we needed to solve, uh, that it's going to be affordable within the city's budgets, and that it's going to be acceptable not only to the city, but also to the residents and, and, the, and, and, the, and the citizens in the area. And, you know, so project development, we seek to make sure that we understand the, the source of flooding, uh, that we're coordinating well with all the city departments, that we're coordinating well with external department, uh, external owners. You know, we don't want to find a 20-inch gas main that can't be moved once we get started uh, in, in full design. Um, now, you know, we want to make sure that we have a good understanding of the required permit. Uh, the city, while we do ask for residents to acquire permits, we do have to get other permits ourselves from typically the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And we want to just make sure that we understand all the site constraints. So that's all what we're looking at in project development. So this site in particular, Halton Road, you can see here uh, located with a star on it. Uh, we, have, we have documented at least one high water rescue and three other uh, flooding events and instances where we know that water has gone over the roadway. And that's just since we've been monitoring it. And so it's possible that it's been more frequent than what we've seen, but this is what we have documented. And so this represents a life safety hazard to anybody who might be driving in the area, especially at night uh, where it's poorly lit and there's a really hard curve. If, if, that, if that crossing is underwater, it, it's gonna represent a life safety threat and potential loss of life. So that's, that's where this project is coming from. Uh, what I'm showing here is roughly the limits uh, called out with the yellow line uh, of what we're, where we're looking to do our improvements. Uh, also shown in, in the blue shading is what's called the 100-year floodplain, and that's the uh, regulatory floodplain that uh, the city would have to regulate to. Uh, just, just it, it's shown on this really just to kind of get a picture of how wide it is in that area during what's considered a 100-year event. Um, you know, additional pictures of, of what it looks like today, those of you who live out there or, or, or have passed by here recently, you, you, you're aware of what it looks like. And in, and in particular, if you're heading westbound on Haltham coming from 121, uh, that, that turn to head from westbound Haltham Road to southbound Haltham Road is very sharp and very kind of abrupt. And so I'll, I'm, the next few slides, I want to walk through what we're currently conceptually looking at. You know, we're, we're still in the early days. We, we you know, th this is still a potential project. Um, and and we're, we're at about what might be a 30% set of plans. And so what we're looking at, uh, this blue line shows the creek that's crossing Haltham Road with Haltham Road being located right, uh, being, uh, being in the screen. Uh, what we're looking at doing is installing larger, bigger culverts that can pass more water under the roadway instead of over the roadway. And, and the location of those culverts is going to be a realignment, it's going to result in a realignment of Haltham Road. 
And next, we would potentially be we would be installing the the concrete pavement over over the new culverts as well as storm drains, and we'd be protecting the channel from erosion, uh, reconstructing driveways, uh, including a, a channel maintenance access ramp on the on, on the northwest corner there. Uh, we also are currently planning for sidewalks to be installed, and that those may be uh, installed at a future date. But we would certainly provide space at this time. Uh, in keeping with the city's master thoroughfare plan, uh, which does call for sidewalks in this area. So that's kind of generally what we're looking at. Uh, to, to go over a, a few of the, uh, just just kind of a quick summary of this, you know, we're looking at uh, doing this project so that we can improve the safety of the area, reduce the, the likelihood of overtopping. Now we want to improve the road safety by reducing, by, by improving that curvature in the roadway. And we want to make sure that we're, we're we're also coming back with concrete pavement, which is going to have a little bit longer life cycle than asphalt. And then it also allows for future flood improvements in Holtham Road by by the uh, design of the storm drain that we have. Uh, our current anticipated project milestone schedule. Uh, again, this, you know this is subject to change because we are fairly early on in the process. Um, we're anticipating completing design in winter of 2023, uh, bidding and awarding in spring of 2023. And construction to start in summer of 2023, uh, construction complete in 2024. Uh, and and I'll, I'll clarify there on the complete the design that's, you know, winter 2022, 2023. So, you know, we're talking uh, November, December, January, uh, February. That's kind of what we're meaning by winter 2023. Um, now funding wise, our, our current estimate of this project is about three and a half million dollars and, and it is funded out of our stormwater utility bond. And with that, I'll, I'm going to I'd be happy to take any questions. Uh, my contact information is on this screen. So if you'd like to contact me with any specific questions that you don't want to maybe share with the public, the, I'm more than happy to respond to those uh, either by email or by phone call. Um, Michael Crenshaw, have we gotten any questions or comments in the in the chat window? No, just the the one question about attendees, and and there are uh, of course some city employees, some consultants, and then there are a few call in users that are not city employees that are on the call. Very good. Uh, so with that, I'm seeing somebody by the name of Fred here. That I'll I'll, I'll ask Fred if you have any questions or comments that you'd like to to ask or share. If not, that's fine too. Okay. Hi. Hello, how are you? Can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay. Sorry about that. Um so that, that's okay. We're talking about the um low water crossing that's down at that one curve, but we're not talking about any other improvements along Haltom Road. Right, we're, 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 we're coming out of this, looking at it from a stormwater perspective and where we are addressing the curvature in the roadway to make that safer, but, but there won't be additional with this project, additional roadway improvements. Okay, and when you're navigating this task, um, are you, Taking into consideration how much um, 18 wheeler traffic there is through there. And, and so that, that's, that's going to be 1 of the reasons why we're going to look for a concrete uh, section. Now, 1 of the things that we'll have to be coordinating on is, you know, during construction, what kind of detour might have to take place. But that, that's something that we'd be looking at as we get into design. Right, because for years, Halton Road, that section of Halton Road has been no through traffic for large trucks, mm -hmm. but they disregard that signage. And additionally, over the years, additional trucking companies have been allowed by the city to move in all along up and down Halton Road, um, which is, you know, some of those areas agreeably are zoned appropriately for heavy industry. However, um, the road does not support that and being someone that lives on the road and has it has to commute and battle that I, I definitely agree that it's it's a much needed project and I see where you're coming from for this, but I would also 
you know, appreciate anything that the city could do. And I'd like to be heard on this because we've made multiple calls and, you know, things have just not changed. Um, no mm -hmm. enforcement and no improvements. And that entire stretch of Halton Road is indeed a very dangerous place to be when you're competing with these 18 wheelers day and night. Okay. Would you mind? So, uh, would you mind maybe sending me an email, uh, kind of with, with some of your specific concerns, so I can try to help relay you to the to the right people to talk to about that? Absolutely, I, I would very much appreciate that. Yeah. So if you you shoot me an email there at justin .naylor at fortworthtexas.gov, um, then, then I'll I'll try to make sure I get you in contact with the correct people, which, which it may wind up being multiple people, but but. Well, it'll have right. to it'll, it'll depend on what what you tell me. Okay, because I did leave a message because they said that that there was some type of committee that was looking to improve things, and I'm thinking that that's what we thought this call was about. But oh, um, okay. that's just our misunderstanding on our end, not not doing a deep enough dive into what we were calling in for. But I do appreciate any help that you can give, and I I do agree that that curve does need some help. There is. We live there, you know, it rains and then that um, there's a lot of trash and debris that gets accumulated on both sides, especially mm -hmm. the more western side of that pass. Um, yeah. A lot of accumulation and then the water does force across the road, making it very dangerous. Yeah, and, and that's really, we, we, we don't want to make the headlines for a very bad reason uh, at right. this location. And, and so that, that's what right. we're trying to, to get, get out in front of. Well, we, we do appreciate that, absolutely. But I did want y'all to be also prepared because there's a lot of trucking companies based in and out of Halton Road, um, mm -hmm. right across the railroad tracks as you're coming from 121 all the way down to 1st Street. There's multiple trucking companies that house in those different properties. Okay. Yeah, but that'll be something that we'll have to make sure we coordinate with well as we go through design. Uh, you know, we, we will have more of these community meetings at, at when we get to what's called a 60% set of engineering plans. So that'd be when we have a little bit more detail and then at a 90% set of plans. And then again, uh, at a pre-construction meeting where we have a contractor selected for the work. So if it goes okay. through, we will have additional outreach. Uh, so, so you can be looking forward to that if, if, if this one goes through. Um, but we will try to make sure to document that we need to take close coordination as far as, especially once construction starts, that we're co coordinating closely with any trucking companies along the roadway. So they know okay. if the road's having to close and all that kind of thing. Oh, that sounds excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Yep, you're welcome. Thank you for your input. Yes, sir. And so I see we have a call in user. Um, feel free to un unmute yourself or, or we'll un unmute you here. If you if you'd like to speak, feel free to. Hey, Justin, it's just Scott Hubley listening here. Oh, hey, Scott. Thanks for chiming in. I appreciate it. Yep. Well, I don't see any other comments. Uh, uh, I, I think with that, we can probably go ahead and conclude the meeting. Uh, and, you know, again, if, if anything comes up, uh, feel free to shoot me an email or, or give me a phone call. Um, I may not have the answer right away, but I, I, it would be my goal to, to find the answer or find the right person to give you the correct answer. Um, so with that, I think we'll go ahead and stop recording and we'll, we'll go ahead and call the meeting to an end. I appreciate everybody's time and I appreciate uh, your input on, on this meeting. And so thank y'all. Y'all have a good, y'all have a good evening. Thank you. See y'all later. Bye-bye. Thank you.